In this video, we're going to look at how we can work with uh, salt solutions to come up with uh, equilibrium expressions and do equilibrium calculations. So what we're going to discover is, again, this is just another example of a type 2 problem. So this is just an, a new example of a type 2 problem. And it's not even new. In essence, it's the exact same thing. The only thing that might be new in this case is that instead of getting a Ka, a Ka they might give you a Kb. So let's take a look at this one. It says, determine the pH and the concentration of benzoic acid in a solution of 0.15 molar sodium benzoate. Uh, the Ka for benzoic acid is 6.3 times 10 to the minus 5. So what we have here is we have sodium benzoate, NaC7H5O2. And we have to identify, is sodium benzoate going to be a basic solution, an acidic solution? What's it going to do? Is it going to act as an acid or a base? So we have two ions, Na+, plus, and we have C7H5O2. And the Na we can automatically just not worry about. That's going to be neutral. So that's going to, in essence, just be a spectator ion. So when you put the sodium in there, that's just going to sit around and happily watch this, these other acid-base reactions take place because it's going to do nothing since it's the conjugate acid of a strong base. And so with the, the benzoate, this is the conjugate base of the benzoic acid. So when we put this into water, we're starting with sodium benzoate. Our first step is always to write the reaction. So we have C7H5O2 minus. It's going to react with water to make HC7H5O2, which is benzoic acid. You can see that's benzoic acid up here. And um, OH minus. So this is going to be acting as a base. And so basically what the setup here is, is this is, this is the conjugate base of a weak acid. So our, our weak acid is benzoic acid, but we're not starting with benzoic acid. We're starting with the, its conjugate base, which is the benzoate. So when you put the sodium benzoate into water, the benzoate will react with water to make a little bit of hydroxide. And we're going to get back some benzoic acid, and that's what it wants to know. What is the concentration of this at equilibrium? Uh, that's what the question is asking us for. And also the pH. So this is why it's a type 2 problem. We're going to get a concentration of this initial, and we're going to calculate a concentration of the conjugate acid at equilibrium. So our second step is always to write out the K equation, which in this case is going to be Kb is equal to the concentration of the benzoic acid times the concentration of the OH minus divided by the concentration of C7H5O2 minus, which is the the base that we're starting with and that's how we're going to set that up and then we go into our ice table so uh, for our ice table we have C7H5O2 minus HC7H5O2 and our concentration of hydroxide okay so now um, we're starting with 0 0.015 molar uh, we're starting with 0 molar and 0 molar uh, it hasn't ionized yet to make the, the benzoic acid or the hydroxide. And so uh, some of this is going to go away, one equivalent. An equivalent of this is going to come in, and an equivalent of that is going to com come in. So you should be starting to see a pattern here in how we're working these problems. Once you get to the ice table, these problems actually work themselves out pretty quickly. The main problem is figuring out what you have to do up here. So spend, spend a good amount of time thinking about what you have in the solution and whether it's going to be an acid or a base. So this process that I went through up here where I figured out whether this was going to be an acid or a base is really important because if you don't get that right, you're not going to get the problem right, not because you don't know how to do an ice table, but because you didn't know what you had in solution. Okay, and then so for KB, okay, now, now here comes the, the, the interesting part. So we need the KB for this because it's acting as a base, but it gives us the KA. So we know how to actually take care of that. Kw is equal to Ka times Kb. So what we do is we plug our 1 times 10 to the minus 14 in for Kw. And we plug in our Ka, which is 6.3 times 10 to the minus 5. And we solve for Kb. So Kb in this case is going to equal 1.59 times 10 to the minus 10. And so we set that up. So we have 1.59 times 10 to the minus 10. 
is going to equal x squared over 0 0.015 molar minus x. If we do our check, is 0 0.015 molar divided by 1.59 times 10 to the minus 10 greater than 100? And it most certainly is. And so we can then eliminate our x and solve for x. We take 1.59 times 10 to the minus 10 times 0 0.015, and then we take the square root. So x gives us 1.56 times 10 to the minus sixth. And so we have to remember what x is. So x is the concentration of hydroxide, and it's the concentration of the benzoic acid. So we answered one part of the question, which is what is the concentration of benzoic acid? So that's the concentration of benzoic acid. If we want to get the pH, what we have to do is we have to convert this to a pOH, which when you take the negative log of the 1.5 uh, 6 times 10 to the minus 6, you get 5.81. And then we can convert that to a pH, which is going to equal 8.18. And so that is how you solve this problem. You get your two answers um, from that. But again, the, the most important thing is up here is to work out what you've got in the solution. Um, think about what it's going to do. Is it going to act as an acid or base? And then once you have that, you write your equation, you write your Ka or Kb expression, and then you, you start working through the ice table.